Hi all. I'm going to showcase how to create a donut chart in the latest version. That is what Tableau 2020.2 or 3 because uh, whenever you're going to install the latest version default you can see orders count or whatever the table based on the table you are going to get that particular count of uh, uh, based on the table count so that's what the generated field you can see here okay but before before 2020.2 we do have number of records that's the generated field so whenever we are going to create a pie chart let's say i'm going to create a pie chart here category wise sales and now i want to create a donut chart so to create a donut chart we usually go for number of records drag and drop into rows and click on this drop down so now you can see i need to make sure like you can make use of uh, aggregation function right so you can make use of sum or average or minimum basically it's a default is sum of number of records and we used to go for different aggregation but here straight away we are using count of orders and we don't have an option to go for a different aggregate functions correct so what we can do is we can create a calculation field it's a very simple calculation make use of one that is what number of records okay so just create a calculation field with one name it as number of records it depends you can name it uh, whatever the naming convention you can use and now click on this drop down you can make use of average or you can make use of maybe minimum or maximum anything is fine okay so again you can drag and drop number of records into here you can do, you can repeat the same thing or make use of control just drag and drop the same into uh, again into rows so we got two pie charts click on this drop down make use of entire view you have an option to go for dual axis click on dual axis and uh, we can make use of synchronize axis because when you change the axis it will overlap so we don't get two different pie charts based on two different measures so make sure that you need to go for synchronize the axis so let me increase the size a bit of the pie chart. So now I do have two different axes. Let me hide. Okay. So now go back to second marks card. Remove all the fields from here. And make use of the background color white. And now go back to the first marks card, increase the size of the first marks card. So this is where a donut chart uh, comes up where, because like in the previous version, it's straight away where we can use number of records, but in the latest version, sometimes, right? So we do get confused how to create or how to place a number of records. So that's a very simple calculator field. So you can use one as a number of records. And if you want to do some formatting, you can also do some formatting. If you want to drop, if you want to showcase total sales in the labels, drag and drop total sales into labels in the second marks card. Go back to first marks card and drop sales into labels. If you want to showcase that particular sales as a percentage calculation, you can make use of quick table calculation percentage of total. Clear? Thanks for watching and please do subscribe for more videos.